Matt DeFranks. Go ahead, Matt. Roderick, what did you see in the last uh, seven to ten minutes there um, when they made the comeback? Uh, I think we were fine until the seven, uh, six and a half minutes mark. Uh, we had these on phase up, and uh, I, th I, th I think we should uh, play it smarter, just uh, have good structure and just uh, chip the puck out. And uh, we didn't do that, and then they closed us in the in the D zone, and uh, we had good momentum, and and then they just uh, make us tired and. They score a few goals. Mike Heike, go ahead. Did that stoppage uh, to fix the boards hurt you guys at all? Uh, to be honest, uh, it wasn't in our favor because uh, I think uh, we had the momentum in our game. We played really good for 15 minutes, and uh, I think the structure and the system was really good. And then, uh, yeah, then it's changed a little bit. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if it was that or not. But yeah. Saad Youssef, go ahead. Hey, Radek, um, how do you make sure that this kind of loss doesn't um, do, doesn't just, you know, have a domino effect and, and take you guys down? Well, I think you have to forget about it and, and just mentally prepare for next game and play whole 60 minutes, not just uh, 54 minutes. Matt DeFranks, go ahead. Roddick, does this one sting a little bit more knowing how well you guys did play during the first uh, 50 minutes or so? Yeah, for sure. It hurts. It took, it took us. Uh, I think we played great. Uh, I think, I don't know what to say. Yeah, for sure, we are, we are working hard for 54 minutes and then you lost, uh, you, you get scored three goals in the last six minutes. It's, it hurts, you know. You, you're working like idiots for 54 minutes and it cannot happen to to the good teams, and uh, we have to learn from that. It cannot happen again. All right, thank you, Radic. We will be joined shortly by. We will start with Matt DeFranks. Go ahead, Matt. Joe, what were you guys doing in the first 50, 55 minutes that you weren't doing at the end there? Um, I mean, we just we we're definitely more aggressive at times. Um. You know, we won more battles, and then as we sat back as the game went on, you know, they kind of found their legs a little bit, and they definitely got some momentum, and we didn't, we didn't answer it well at all. So it was, it was one of those things. That, you know, I mean, tough loss. Mike Heike, go ahead. How do you guys respond to something like that? Is it more frustrating than just a regular loss? Yeah, I mean, the position we're in, we realize you know points are important. We're chasing teams and. And they're a team that we're, you know, looking ahead at. And we got them in a good spot and we're playing good hockey. And for us to come out like that and feed into their momentum a little bit, it's it's a tough loss. It's frustrating for sure. Um, you know, understand where we're at right now. And we're going to have to put learn from this, put it behind us and, and learn from it. And, you know, go on the attack. It, you know, it, it would have been nice to grab this one too. Matt DeFranks, go ahead. Joe, when you talked about sitting back uh, late in the game, is that just kind of a subconscious thing playing playing the score, or does that kind of come from somewhere else? Um, you know what? I don't. It's hard to say. You know, it felt like we were sitting back. They give them credit; they made some good plays. They felt like they had a ton of speed coming through the neutral zone. Um, we didn't sustain enough to get out of our zone and you know pin them down their end. Um, so I'm sure a part of it was us and um you know give them a little credit for some of the plays they made but it's there's no excuse for us that's all the questions we have for joe we will go to jamie started matt defranks go ahead jamie what did you see in the last uh, six seven minutes there uh, they came on strong um you know found a way to get three goals mike heike go ahead did the uh, stoppage in play affect you guys at all? Uh, it shouldn't have. Um, that's just uh, an excuse. Saad Youssef, go ahead. How do you make sure this doesn't have a domino effect and, and you guys are able to put this behind you? Uh, learn from it. Uh, the game's 60 minutes for a reason. Matt DeFranks, go ahead. 
what were you guys doing in the first 50 minutes that you weren't doing in the last uh, bit there? Uh, I mean, they were coming at us pretty good there. Um, I guess we could have tightened up our defense, defensive zone, but um, yeah. That is all the questions we have for Jamie. We will be joined by Rick Bonus next. We will start with Mike Heike. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Rick. Uh, what happened, do you think, in your opinion, in the final seven minutes there? Oh, we just stopped defending. Simple as that. If we don't defend for 60 minutes, we're going we're gonna to struggle. And, and, but So that's one side of it. And the, the second side of it is that the inability to get that third goal. We had plenty of opportunities to make that game 3 nothing, pl Plenty. And they don't put the puck in the net. And all that does is keep the other team in it. And um, but so it's, it shows you, again, it's, you have to defend for 60 minutes. We were getting beat off the wall. We're throwing a puck up the middle of the ice with something we never do. And we bump into our own goalie. Like we just stopped defending. Simple as that. From, but the, just as big an issue is our inability to get that third goal with all the opportunities that we had. Matt DeFranks, go ahead. Joe mentions not being as aggressive, uh, you know, late in the game. Did you kind of sense that from from your team that you weren't pushing forward, uh, being aggressive? I didn't understand the question. Joe Pavelski said that we lost aggressiveness towards the end. Yeah, well, that's if you're going to defend, it's got to be aggressive, and we just sat back. Uh, again, you you can't. It, it, that's why they're in first place, we're battling for first place, and this is why we're battling to get back in the race for the playoffs. If, if we don't stay and play the right way and play defend for 60 minutes, and which means you have to be aggressive. You have to be aggressive up ice. You have to go after them. You have to put pucks to the net. So um, all the things, but in, in our zone, if you're gonna let them just walk off the boards like we did tonight, then you're just letting them back in the game. And that's what we did. Saad Yusuf, go ahead. How do you make sure this doesn't kind of carry over and have a domino effect? Oh, again, you, listen, you, you, and I've said this before, there's got to be some ownership taken here by some of these. Like, you look at who let us down again tonight, the veterans. Uh, they did. Um, they, the defense is, is better, has to be better than that. Can't get beat off the boards, can't be turning pucks over like we did. So uh, we, they're going to have to take some ownership here. Um, and but so, um, again, yeah. Mike Heike, go ahead. Uh, did the stoppage in play affect you guys at all? Well, it, it helped them. They were able to, you know, we had them on the ropes. Again, that's where we had, when we had them on the ropes and we could not get that third goal. Um, so is that the goal? Is that us? Probably a little bit of both. Uh, it gave them a long break to gather some momentum <clears throat> for the last six minutes. And we, again, we, we got to fight through it. And, and we didn't. And our last question goes to Matt DeFranks. Go ahead, Matt. Rich, how heavily did you consider a timeout when you felt Florida start to get the momentum there in the third? Yeah, um, I did. But then you need that timeout at the end of the game too, right? So um, we, we, we definitely needed that timeout at the end of the game. So, you know, sometimes you got to trust your players and you talk about it and you got to trust your veterans. Okay, things aren't, you got to settle it down. You have to trust your veterans um, to settle things down and, and get playing the right way again. But I, I, so, yeah, and, but we certainly needed that timeout at the end of the game. Thank you, Rick. Our next availability will be morning skate on Saturday.